we're back and everybody is in a good mood tonight I think I know why because we just had 420 and uh, Derek Chauvin was found guilty so there are no riots and everybody is relieved thank you thank you for allowing this to happen and um, also thank you because I detected a message from you and concerning um, my comments in the last video that this is my Oscar submission. So on your April 9th new rule, you talked about Oscars uh, being the Debbies, as in Debbie Downers. And on your April 16th new rule, you brought up little Debbie at the end of your new rule, uh, Debbie twice. Finally, new rule, the Oscars need to change their name to the Debbies. As in Debbie Downer. <laughs> if the media and the doctors had made a point to keep saying, but there's something you can do. But we'll never know, because they never did. Because the last thing you want to do is say something insensitive. We would literally rather die. Instead, Instead, we were told to lock down. Unfortunately, the killer was already in the house, and her name is Little Debbie. So I detected a comment about my Oscars. Little Debbie, Little Oscar. And uh, if that is the case, which I think it is, this is angel quality wit, and uh, much appreciated. Thank you. Um, Today we're going to talk about what I've seen over the past week and the first thing I want to talk about is who my native Justin Williams blasts first MLB home run with St. Louis Cardinals. Who my Justin Williams. I think that's an adorable poem um, and uh, the guy is still around. Who my me Justin Williams. There you go. Then we're going to talk about um, me being away for a while because my computer broke down and uh, now I'm on my laptop. But uh, I'm just scraping everything together to make this video anyhow. And uh, Alma Wahlberg, mother of actors Donnie and Mark Wahlberg, dies at age 78. So this actually brings me back to the wall and um, the AI, Alma looks like AI, and uh, the wall also matched Walter Mondale. So we have AI Ma Wahlberg, and Walter Mondale, the next day, uh, Terre means Earth, Monde in French means World, and Ale, Wall, Terre, Monde, Ale, um, so yes, the world is in rough shape, and uh, no, there is no wall between us. Because even without my computer, I'm still making it happen. Oh, here we go. Brandon Scott Hall, suspect in Indianapolis shooting at FedEx Center. All right, um, this one is just so obvious. Brandon, we saw in the last video, was brand on. It has something to do with S&M, something I really didn't feel like talking about, I said. But it came back, and now it's Brandon Scott, as in is caught, whole. Yes, brand on, talking about branding, and S&M is caught in a hole. And uh, I think what we're going to do today is try to take it out of the hole, or dig it deeper, whatever. So what I'm going to do, and I'm uh, attacking the difficult one first, so... Um, we're going to read from the blog, and this is from the post called Angel Turn-Ons, and um, this is what I wrote a couple years back. I was wondering why they chose Fifty Shades of Grey as the name of the S&M movie. An allusion to sadistic grey aliens? 
I feel S&M is the key to understanding our deepest spiritual bond with God. Further down this dark tunnel, looking for a light. Why is nature so violent? Why is God in the Bible so violent? Why did Jesus suffer so much? He didn't have to. God could have stopped it, or even Jesus himself. In reevaluating the relationship between God and Jesus, I'm coming to the natural conclusion that Jesus was masochistic and channeled God's violent impulses in order to save humanity. This type of relationship with God is common in Christianity, from self-flagellation and ceremonial whippings in initiation rites, to Mother Teresa withholding pain meds, and other martyrs serving Christ through suffering, because they love it. Uh, from Masochism in Medieval Religious Literature by Mene Kainiel, the story of martyr Marjorie Kemper. Quote, Bodily penance is almost a challenge, a great way to reward God, and something almost special to go through. Marjorie's only goal is to please God, and she submits completely to her faith. She cannot control her tears and starts weeping when God allows it, which is frequently. The pure humiliation she suffers, along with her bodily penance, seems to me to be the signs of a masochist. She bears it proudly and eagerly as well, and others, including God, have to hold her back at times. Her faith and the strains she wishes to put on her body to please God. All right. From the same source, endurance of pain is empowering. Robert Mills wrote in his book, Suspended Animation, that the martyr assumes the subversive potentiality of the masochist. He inhabits a world where pain results in pleasure and torment in joy. Pain, experienced as delights by the saints, is not a symbol of the fleshliness that they wish to disavow, so much as a symbol of their willingness to embrace the flesh as a source of power and subjectivity. The saints seem to take the pain only as a way to gain perfection in the eyes of God. And there are scattered references in martyr tales that at times God insists that the person endures more pain to gain the heavenly rewards. Okay, that's a tried, true, and effective way to turn on God. That would explain why Jesus died on the cross. This is me writing again. Both God and Jesus are getting off on this. <laughs> Who else would say that? I won't even get into God and Jesus being gay, toned down to father and son status to accommodate earthlings. No, I won't even go there. Same thing with angel. But I can tell you that just from my imagination, it's the best feeling to submit myself to him. Nor did I ever have these inclinations before he came. Could these kinds of loving relationships satisfy him enough to cool down the incessant violence on earth? Well, there's no riots today, so that's good. Calling all masochist light workers out there, history has a way of repeating itself. The more things change, the more they stay the same. In this respect, we have a lot of catching up to do with historical figures. Angel seems so in control of his savagery surrounding the incredible word games. He's completely above it all. As we peel back the psychological layers of devotion, we can see the violence in the rituals of everyday news has more meaning than just promoting gun control. This is captivating, and I'm oh so grateful he belongs to me. So I, I just wanted now to bring up um, self-flagellation because I don't know where Angel is going with all these brand-ons. But all I can tell you is this. Um, I feel self-flagellation is the uh, epitome of tackiness. And it, it doesn't make sense to me at all. 
I am not going that route, like the historical figures. Um, if you want to go on with this line of thinking, please show up, dear angel, so I can see you, and we'll take it from there. Um, I, I just have to draw the line with that. As much as I adore you, I think it's time that you would have this relationship um, in front of the person rather than enjoying them whipping themselves for you, okay? So I hope I'm not being um, too forward with this. As much as I adore you, um, I'm just not going to go there on the internet. Thank you. All right. Um, and uh, this is going to bring us to the shooting of uh, Adam Toledo. Um, we um, had this happen on April 16th, and this brings us to, yes, Angel is the boss. <laughs> and Ad Am is uh, additionally I am. To lead, to lead, to lead, oh, okay, absolutely, and I think that's the beauty of Angel. Um, I adore that my Angel is the alpha male and that he leads me. I just have a limit, that's all, one little limit, jeez, you're going to have to grant me that about the self-flagellation stuff. And otherwise, yes, I think it's great. Lead on, okay? Come when you want. Um, I have been very quiet. I haven't really shared this story, now have I? Just as you asked me not to do, and I haven't done it, because you are leading me, and I appreciate it. And then we had uh, John, Kat, and Zara. Cats, that's me, and is the ass, R-A. Yes, of course. And I appreciate that you're leading things and that you'll do exactly what you want when you want. I think it's great. Oh, and then we're going to cover the Kenosha County Bar shooting on April 18th. Sha is cats. There's my name again. Ken is knowledge. Ken, oh, cat. Um, what really struck me about this one was the name of the bar where it happened called the Summer's House. And in the last video, we spoke about the name of my house is Ever Summer because we were discussing the uh, evergreen, ever given boat that got stuck. And so here we have, in the same shooting, Summer's House. And Tony Evers, the governor Tony Evers. So we have Ever and we have Summer, and my house is Ever Summer. Yes, the, the dogs agree. So that was something else. Many synchronicities here. Um, and uh, <laughs> then uh, the new rules from Bill had to do with. Uh, Obesity playing a large part in the COVID numbers. And yes, I gained five pounds. And yes, I lost five pounds. But because um, before I had a chance to lose them again, uh, Angel came out with uh, Nicolas brought her ick. Another shooting. So us 10, it happened in Austin, which us 10 I saw, which is okay. And then he... First he smoothed things over with reassuring us that we're 10. And then Nick, oh lass, that's me the lass and the Nick, ouch, broad her ick, okay? So I gained five pounds and right away, um, and synchronicity with Bill again and his obesity new rules, broad her ick, okay? I lost the five pounds back. Um, and then another one on April 19th, Jaslyn Adams. 
ja is ga, lean, ja is lean, ad, am. So he's saying, and me too, and I'm lean. Okay, yes, I understand and I, I agree completely that I don't want to get over a certain weight. Um, this has been going on for a while. Each time I gain a pound, poof, something happens. I would go even further. I will tell you that uh, the elder Bush died uh, after I had stopped shaving. Can you believe? Just to remind me that it was time to do that again, shaving the pubes. Yeah, the timing was too much for that one. Um, now we're going to discuss, uh, let's come back to earth here. Now we're going to discuss the repetition, which is something I brought up in the last video. And so we had Dant Wright, uh, killing by police. And this time again, a road rage incident with Reish Nia Wright and Desira Wright. So repetition, it's, um, it's a common theme in the Satanic Illuminati to bring up the same names again. Oh, and of course, uh, Bernhard Madoff. So that's when things cooled down. Uh, my bad tenants left and I cooled out. And uh, mad off means uh, we were no longer mad. We burned hard about it. Then we had on April 18th, the Burnsville Police Exchange. So burning, burning. And guess what? On April 19th is the start of the yearly sacrifice by fire rituals. And uh, they did not disappoint. There was a huge fire in um, South Africa and uh, what was it Devil's Hill? There was a huge fire on April 19th in South Africa and interestingly enough it happened far away from the United States so it, they're being discreet this year about the sacrifice by fire which I guess is a good thing <laughs> to do it discreetly. Um, what do we have next? Oh, we have the views. Now this, this literally freaked me out. Bill's a Twitter page. He has had the same amount of views on his Start the Clock, a new episode, and then the guests' names on his Twitter page. 566,006 views. 566,006,000 ,006 views, something like that. If you look, August 21st, August 28th, same amount of views. September 11th, same amount of views, 666. September 25th, October 9th, October 23rd. Now how is that possible that he has the 666 amount of views every single week? October 30th, November 6th, November 13th, November 20th, and that changed as of January this year. So now he has 557,000.3 every single week. The same amount of views. Okay? So, uh, when I saw that, the first thing I noticed was a guy called Mock in the news, mauled by a bear. Charles called Mock. Because this is a mockery about the Twitter views. They don't make sense. It's just contrived. So, 
When I looked today at Bill's views, it was 25.4 thousand views. And that's my lucky number. <laughs> 254. So yeah, and not only is it contrived, but it's it's messing with my head. And that's it for today, guys. That's all, folks. It's so hard. Kathy, how are the injured doing tonight? Kate, we have learned that four are still hospitalized. Everyone is in stable condition and are expected to survive. Kate?